The kidnapping of young girls and young women was one of the most devastating activities of the members of the Boko Haram. And they kidnapped women in order to marry them. They kidnapped the young men in order to use them to fight. And some of them also, they used them for suicide bombing. This particular group, they are actually from a more volatile area. And right now, there are still many Boko Haram members in Sambisa in their thousands. So they cannot return until Boko Haram has been completely defeated in the northeast of Nigeria. Uh -huh. So these are the so completed ones. And as you can see, you can put it and then begin to work. <laughs> started actually right from the moment that they started occupying territories. People were running away, they were moving towards Yola, and uh, we left our cathedral door open, and people were coming, we kept them there. And among those that came in, they were uh, actually unaccompanied children who were kidnapped by the members of the Boko Haram. And the military were able to take all these children and brought them to the camp. And we tried by all means in order to trace uh, their, their parents. And if we couldn't, we had to look for somebody at least from their village. But at the end of the day, we were able to reunite them within, within three, four months. We have actually a good number of young girls uh, who were kidnapped by the members of the Boko Haram. Mercy was abducted by the members of the Boko Haram uh, early last year in her home village. Na zamani no watching Karfi Hudu Amba Muna Kiso da Antina. So Juju Sunje Yaki, the Tafir Siaki, Jessica Chiman, I can't show Uncunga Amoka, we are Jue Gabata Chamfa, to Kaminam Karfi Bier, Simuna Jikaran Bindiga, to Senech Antiwan and Karan Bindiga, the Bandana, so Jujifa, Teta Choe Kariani, Munche Musu Kari. Kara <laughs> They kept her for a good number of months, about four to five months. And she and four of her colleagues, they managed to escape through the fence. They came to St. Teresa's camp, and then we gave them place of accommodation, and then we took care of them. And, uh, she has now gone to school, and we are still uh, assisting her in making sure that uh, she gets good education. I had no mutani at Chaman and Argara Bamba Sancho was on Haru de Tava. Then I was on Haru de Tan in Ajin Daddy in a summa. Anna so coffee when she had a bam de Tas about the inner foreign chicky. Aka, Naganta, then the Tana Cosada in a in Ajin Daddy. Munaya won Karatu. Soran kuma suna yawan salla da kuma muna yawan sauran suna yawan canje canje kaya mu mata mun fi dari boko haram kuma ban san yawan su bannu suna nan da yawa sauran su na zama a cikin gida sauran haketaren kwalta sauran kuma suna zuni a kan katanga sauran suna bayan gidan sun kewa yau ban san yawan su ba Abigail, she was taken to the Federal Medical Center. Uh, we assisted in order that she would be able to get well, and then we registered her. By coming here, she was reunited with her family, her mother, and also some of her relatives. So we have, in the camp, we have two kitchens. Why name was that? Abigail, Kunawa. Kunawa. Uh -huh. So four women are doing the cooking today. So this is the, already they are prepared and ready for lunch. Abigail, Kenako. Yeah, Abigail. The food is ready now. 
this is for this rice and beans. We also have challenges of how do they now manage life because they have lost virtually everything. There is no single family that has not been affected in one way or the other. Either one member of the family was killed, or somebody was kidnapped, or the house was destroyed, or even the church completely destroyed. Like in my own case now, I lost my, my elder brother, who has up to seven children. Now we have to take care of the family that he has left behind. And I even asked the question, but why? Why should this thing happen? But as Christians, no matter how painful it might be, we have to be prepared in order to forgive, despite the fact we can never forget it.